Hey guys, welcome back to Wild Arms. Um, I apologize for the last part that I did. I didn't realize just how shifted the camera on myself, like where my cell phone was positioned, until it was too late. I'm so sorry. I already saved, and yeah, I'm really sorry the way it looked out. But I think I've centered it now very well, so now I'm good. Anyway, we finished off Cecilia's story. Now she's headed to Aldehyde, where Jack is. Lilithia was mentioned by both of them, so you know. There might meet. So now we're going to tackle the last character in Surf Village. The Wandering Youth. Life is gradually fading from the land. Slowly but surely, the destruction of Filgaia continues. A devastated environment filled with ferocious monsters plague the people of Filgaia, who desperately try to cling to their land. Those who dare to venture out are called Dream Chasers. There is a boy in the village of Surf. It's hard to believe that this boy has the potential to become a dream chaser. What does he seek? We're calling it a day, kid. Thanks for thanks a lot. The barrels are all sorted. I hired you at the recommendation of Mayor Piffer. Piffer. You turned out to be okay. By the way, what's your name? So this is Rudy. Now, what's interesting about Rudy, uh, hang on, sorry, I'll save that for later. Rudy, you're strong, you're stronger than you look. The horses seem happy. Here's today's pay. Sorry, kid, this is all the village can afford. Heal Barry. You should see if the mayor has any more work for you. Thanks again. See ya. So we're now Rudy. You have no tools right now, and... Horses, you press X near them, and they nay. Hey, you can carry the chickens. <laughs> Unfortunately, unlike Legend of Zelda, you know, if you attack, you can't attack them, and you know, they won't go off and try and kill you. you can throw them. And you know, instead of a chicken chaser, you're just a just throwing them. You can't kick them or anything, but you can throw them. <laughs> what fun! By the way, Rudy, can you help out with the horses? I don't really know what he means by that, because you can't really help out. But, uh, here's something funny. If you approach them from behind and press X, they kick you. Ow! Jerks. Here's some crates. Let's break them. Oh! Yeah, and, uh, certain earlier on crates, and maybe some very few time crates, will actually have items in them. So there, I picked up a hearty apple. I ah, see, there's a heel bear right there. Now, a hearty apple, like the mystic apple, increases a stat by one. In this case, vitality. So let's take a look at Rudy. His strength and vitality are at their highest. His sorcery, well, actually, see if you look at Rudy, zero MP. Rudy has no magic power, and his response rate is only eight. Actually, only, uh, yeah, so it's kind of low. So strength and defense is where he's really at here, so we can use the hardy apple. But like the mystic apple, we'll hold on to it. You know, just like all the other characters, we can run. Busy, busy, busy. I'm so busy today. Do you want to know why? Haha, -ha, I can't tell you. Maybe when I get back. Jerk. Yeah, you can also look around these crates. Little barrels, sorry. See, 17 gallon in that one. Long ago, in the caves of the south, there were powerful berries called holy berries. But the last seed was used to kill a monster, so there are no more. So there are no more. You want to hear more? Long ago, a monster prevented the villagers from collecting berries from the cave. The villagers hired many bounty hunters, but the monster kept coming back to life over and over again. As everyone began to give up, one of the bounty hunters had a brilliant idea. His idea was to plant a holy berry seed inside the monster while it was regenerating. The holy berry sprouted and sealed the monster with its magic. Nobody believes the story anymore, it's considered a fairy tale. Hmm. 
interesting little bit of a interesting story. Wonder if it'll have any impact to us later on. Not too many know this, but every year the water in the well decreases. I hear that the world is coming to an end. It must be an omen. Yeah, so as I said, now it's like we're sort of in a dying world right now. The Guardian's powers that used to support, like, the land have, like, faded over time. So now... Oh, there's a power apple. Increase strength plus one. This is our stuff. That's long knife. Yeah, so the Guardian powers have diminished, and now the world is this barren thing. So in a way, I guess you could say this is sort of a western setting. I don't know, like a dry soil, horses, stuff like that. Barrel. Just check around. Press X near them. Hey, kid. Are you a dream chaser? Man, if I wasn't married, I would love to live a life filled with adventure. Welcome to Surf Village. Visitors are always welcome here. This is the, and this is our first shop. Welcome. What can I do for you? So you can buy and sell them. Since we all share a collective, uh... Inventory. See, this is the water ruin. This was stolen Dark's ruin. You can't actually sell this. See? But we can sell this Arctic Blade, even though we shouldn't really have this, but whatever. So you can sell 112 gil. Yeah. There's no really, really not to. Try and sell one of those apples. That's a pretty fair amount, but we're gonna, we're not, we want to save these. Thank you very much. Please come again. By the way, what do you guys think of the music so far? It's pretty good. Right? Ambient. Eh, he is a dog. For sex. <laughs> hmm. Tony's mom. We saw Tony, but this is Tony's mom. <laughs> Your help came just in time. Thank you. My husband injured. With my husband's injury, we can't take care of the horses ourselves. Where's Tony? Pro he's probably causing trouble somewhere. Oh, so we were doing this guy's job for today. Rudy, I heard that you have been helping out. We could use a hand around here with me sick in bed. Thank you. If there was still holy bears in the berry cave, I wouldn't be here. My son and I were taking talking about this earlier. Hmm. I see. Yeah, again, here's the safe state. We're gonna save that for later. Uh, should we explore more? I think we've actually explored all we can, so, you know, this is a small old town, as they say. Yeah, they mentioned monsters roaming around, but you gotta wonder, just like in most RPGs and stuff, why the monsters don't just intrude onto, like, the, the lands then? There's really no stopping the monsters from just coming in here and killing us all. Hmm, the house with just a chicken in it. It's kind of weird. Is this your house? Rudy, this village must be boring for someone like you. Eh, nah. You guys took care of me. Seems we're all, we're all alone, sort of. <laughs> I don't, you don't have to be nice. I'm bored, too. To the south, there's a city holding a festival. I want to go. Interesting. The Ruin Festival, if you recall, from Celia. Talking about... With Celia's peer in the Abbey talking about it. Do you know Calamity Jane? She's a bounty hunter. Stories of her battles with monsters are famous. She's probably very beautiful. Hmm. Double chickens. So that's the way out to the world map, but we're not going to go there just yet. I don't even think you can. Your parents must be worried about you being a dream chaser. Oh, you don't... I'm sorry to hear that. Pardon me. Oh, so we have no parents. I don't know, can we? Hey, Rudy! Oh, <laughs> don't forget to stop by the mayor's house. Okay, so we can't go. There's a lot of monsters outside the village. You're okay, but we're trying to keep this kid named Tony from going outside. He's a pain in the... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is the mayor's house. Let's try uh, rummaging through these little barrels. Heh, <laughs> hey, Gella. Yeah, we're terrible people stealing this money. This village is as poor as it is, and we're stealing, like, whatever money they're hiding around. My husband tells me that you've been working hard. You must be tired. There are beds upstairs. You want to take a rest? No, thank you, ma'am. 
Come back if you get tired. And that's the mayor. Rudy, how are you? Thanks to you, the stables are in great shape. Take these as a token of my appreciation. For helping around the barn, you'll, I'll give you these... BOMBS! What? Long ago, I found these bombs while exploring ancient ruins. You may find them handy. Yes, a boy with no parents and stuff, I've decided to give you these bombs. Yeah, these are our tools. Bombs. <laughs> these bombs will destroy m m most small objects. Walk next to the object you want to blow up and push the tools button. It will go off in a bit. These magical bombs will never run out. In the good old days, magic berries could be found in the cave to the south. We would use the bomb to clear debris from the cave. Now the berries are gone, we no longer need them. The world is fading and our village is starting to feel the impact. Yeah, got our tools, the bombs. Press the square button. Yep, bombs. Woohoo! By the way, we're not really a kid. I believe like we are an adult, sort of a young adult this point probably like around the same age as Cecilia Jack is actually I think the oldest one we've seen yeah, these bombs they'll help on dungeons and stuff clear oh excuse me I must talk I must talk to the mayor immediately a child from our village has gone into be the berry cave what what do we do Well, there's only one child we know of, so, oh, jeez. <laughs> the Berry Cave is full of monsters. There's not much we can do. I must talk to the townsfolk about the situation. Please keep this quiet. We can't have people panicking. I don't have time for this, that troublesome kid! The cave to the south is full of monsters. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, well, no one really says it, but, uh... Well, let's go see Tony's little parents. I mean, after all, that's... My son Tony. He may seem wild, but he's a really good kid. His smiling face has helped me through my illness. Tony! Tony! Where could he be? I hope he's not causing trouble in the village. Well, if you look, Tony's gone. Eh, hey, I guess we could buy something, but it's like... Yeah, why would this be available if we already have it? And here we have other items. Antidote cures poison. Medicine, as you said, cures disease. Cures silence if you played, like, an RPG. Silence means, like, you can't use your spells and stuff. Keeps off cures paralysis. Essentially, you can't move while this is on you. I've got to mention, um, if you do have a status effect and your force meter reaches condition green, you actually get cured of all statuses that are on you. It's pretty handy, actually, so in some senses, you can just save up. So I think I'll buy, like, the medicine, like before. And if you press up, you reach, I believe, like, you go up, like, increments of ten. You go up by tens. So we'll buy, uh, two. I'll buy three. Buy the rose, I'll buy two. You can tell I'll buy two. And Heelberry, I think I'll buy four. Alright. So, let's go back to the bird. This bird is everywhere. So, you know, as your save state. It's kind of an odd, like, choice, though, with this bird. Level one. So, we exit out. And welcome to the world map. Uh, there's actually really no map. For you to look at, you just move around and stuff, you can run on the world map and stuff. Can't use your tools. Tools though, sorry, excuse me. Uh, cool new music. 
Oh, and we got random battles on the world map, too. Ah, balloons! Like in the ruins. Huh, that's odd. It's usually, um, in the when we were Jack, we could destroy them, but I guess maybe they're a higher level now, out here in the real, like, you know, world and stuff. Serious Vitality is so great, it's only doing like three points of damage for these regular attacks. Then again, these are like pretty weak monsters, these balloons. <laughs> Weird name for them, right? Balloons. Again, the, the monster names get really crazy later, later on too. Some of them make no sense, others actually kind of... No, not really. <laughs> kind of funny. forest area. We're not going to explore that much, so uh, well, let's just uh, get in a Varan battle, and since you, I was in the forest, uh, the background changes as such. A Tatzel Bellum. Tatzel Bellum. Tatzel Bellum. Tatzel Bellum. <laughs> See? Ah, yeah, so I guess I should talk about, like, uh, what Rudy has at his disposal. Now, Rudy has the, these, what, a uh, gun, has this gun, he calls it an arm, and the, as in the acronym that we read in the book, the, uh, actually, I forget what the acronym was, but, you know, in, in actual, like, you know, arms usually meant with guns, you know, firearms and stuff, he has this thing called a handgun, eight bullets, your strongest attack. Possible portable cannon slash single. So essentially, it just attacks one opponent. We're gonna save that now. Force force arm lock on just ensures that a, that a arm's accuracy is a hundred percent. I also think that some even though it doesn't say it, that increases the power sort of. Maybe not, but it kind of seems that way. Actually, let's use the block one time just to show you what it like. Let's see how much it defends me. Hmm, only by one or. Uh, how much damage was I taking? Oh, okay, so by five, so that's good. Okay, experience a Gela. So, let's enter the Berry Cave. And... Uh, sorry, I don't know how I was going with that. I was trying to say something. This is the music. Kind of creepy, huh? Wow, I looked away for a second and this kid gets past me. No one from the village is allowed in here. What am I, what am I to do? So can I go in? I guess I can. What's the sign? No trespassing. Bats bring danger. Leave now. Ah. So we can also pick it. But now we have, oh, look at this box. Can't pick it up. So what, what to do? Well, let's use these bombs. Up and we get a heal berry. All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to traverse through these caves, in search of the little boy Tony. See you then. <laughs>